There's a storm coming. I've been saying that for a long time to these guys. You see Lufthansa, you pay for GDSs. IAG has just started to say, you pay if you go onto the GDSs. And there's all sorts of changes going on. In five years, will Emirates maybe charge GDSs for bookings, like some of the airlines have started doing? I, mean, I, I have often said I have found it great, a great pain to me that I put the Emirates inventory into the hands of another thing. He's very grateful to get that inventory, as he gets everybody else's inventory, and he flogs it and makes a fat margin because he then has the nerve to charge us for putting our inventory into his system. So where do I see us going? I've said to the GDSs, and they don't really like me for saying it, I don't see a place for you in five years, unless you adjust your business model. And if the OTAs think they're gonna get it all their own way because of this, think again. And there are some people who are saying, we're gonna commoditize air travel, the Googles of the world, whatever. Right. We're gonna just make you a little, you're a supplier of seats from A to B, wrong, wrong. This is Emirates you're talking about. And we will never be co commoditized or subsumed or subjugated by some other overarching global brand. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Think again. But you said like airlines need to do something about that, that uh, they're, you know, they're behind the curve when it comes to what the OTAs are doing. Um, what is Emirates going to do? I mean, there's Look, a huge I, I, I make no uh, secret of the fact that for many years, people like me have been very fed up about the Intermediaries, so we need to disintermediarize the business in many respects, not just areas, but all the people that come between us and the true nature of the game. We are B to C, not B to B. We have to play the B to B game with the intermediaries, and the intermediaries have a contra-rotating agenda, which is generally lining their pockets first and ours somewhere down the line, wherever it may be. What they do and the value they bring us was fine 15 years ago. It's no longer the case because we can actually do that ourselves and get to the B2C offering in a manner that they could never do even if they wanted to. Now they will disagree with that. So the trick now is to actually create this huge raft of products in the online world that you can market yourself, you can hyper-personalize what you're doing with the digital technology and AI we have and we're learning all the time. So we'll know what you want, when you want it, why you want it and what you're going to do with it. Okay? Right. This is not unique to the airline industry but we have an enormous of potential because we have 1.2 million people a week flying the airline at the moment. We have all sorts of people who enter our system and do not go from the look to book, but we have the data when they look, right. as you do if you go on to any yeah. of the websites. No, no, everything's there. So we're getting far, far better. And it's a journey that we've only been on a few years now. If I look five or ten years down the line, the notion that we had inter intermediaries in the distribution process right. makes no sense to me at all. I've struggled with it for 10 years, quite honestly, and I've been, the remains of my hair has been pulled out of the amount of money that we have paid to the intermediaries to do a job that we should have been doing anyway. We didn't have the technology then. Much as I jumped up and down, people would tap me on the shoulder and say, calm down, Tim, there's nothing you can do about it. And I was, anyway, I'd live with it. Now, we have the opportunity. They know it's coming. There's a storm coming. I've been saying that for a long time to these guys. You see Lufthansa, you pay for GDSs. IAG has just started to say, you pay if you go onto the GDSs. And there's all sorts of changes going on with regard to what happens there. So whether it's the distribution, whether it's the lessor community in aviation leasing, whether it's the banking community, whatever it may be, there's a lot of people in the middle of the game, the aviation game, who extract enormous amount of value when I go back to the prognosis of yields, I can take flatline or lowering yields in real terms if the, we can disintermediarize the business so that we actually get the value we need, which allows us to reduce the cost base and take yields. So there's a, a sort of multifaceted approach to the way the business is being run and, and morphing in this wonderful era of digitization and what we can do. It's a huge help to us. And if we can get that right, in five years, Emirates will be a hungry, lean machine. Position
well on the planet.